In the latest entry into the cesspool known as Hollywood, Variety reports that veteran 58-year-old Disney executive, John Healy, has been charged with three felony counts of child sexual abuse. The longtime director of music publishing for Disney was arrested by deputies from the Santa Clarita station of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department on November 16, according to booking records in L.A. County. He was later released on $150,000 bail. Healy is a resident of Santa Clarita, California and is accused of sexually abusing two underage girls approximately a decade ago. He is alleged to have abused his first victim when she was just 15 years old. According to the charges levied against Healy, he began abusing his second victim when she was just 11 years old with the abuse continuing on until she reached the age of 15. On Wednesday, prosecutors charged Healy with three separate counts of lewd and lascivious acts on a child. Healy vehemently denies the charges and pleaded not guilty at his arraignment at the San Fernando courthouse on Thursday. Healy's attorney is Robert Helfend and issued a statement on Healy's behalf stating Dash, he vehemently denies these allegations and we will be fighting until the end to clear his name. It's a shame. That's all I've got to say. He is due back in court on January 10, 2018. If convicted of the charges levied against him, Healy faces up to nine years and three months in prison. Disney managed to wait until just this past Friday to suspend Healy claiming to have just learned of the charges levied against him. He has been suspended without pay. A corporate spokesman for Disney issued a prepared statement regarding news of Healy late on Friday stating dash immediately upon learning of this situation tonight he has been suspended without pay until the matter is resolved by the courts healy has worked with disney since 1981 overseeing the licensing of music for hundreds of disney films he is also credited with producing a series of disney concerts around the world such as fantasia live in concert that feature orchestral performances and film clips healy's twitter bio states Disney concerts and living to glorify God in all things. He has been married to Lauriel Boston Healy since 1985 and the couple has three children, son Blake and two daughters Victoria and Isabel Ruth. His wife is the executive director of a local Baptist church. The accusations levied and subsequent arrest of Healy are renewing questions about just how much Disney knows about what appears to be a rampant climate of sexual abuse against women and children throughout the company. Pixar co-founder John Lasseter was just recently forced to take a six-month leave of absence. Reports have come out that in order to protect staffers from Lasseter's predatory behavior, he was assigned a handler to ensure he would not engage in inappropriate conduct with women. Two people with direct knowledge of the situation according to Deadline. This leads many people to believe this is evidence Disney may well have been aware of troubling behavior on the part of the digital animation pioneer. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Lassiter was known by company insiders for grabbing, kissing, making comments about physical attributes. It gets worse. A longtime insider says he saw a woman seated next to Lassiter in a meeting that occurred more than 15 years ago. She was bent over and had her arm, across her thigh, he says. The best I can describe it is as a defensive posture. John had his hand on her knee, though, moving around. After that encounter, this person asked the woman about what he had seen. She said it was unfortunate for her to wear a skirt that day and if she didn't have her hand on her own right leg, his hand would have traveled. The same source said he once noticed an oddly cropped photo of Lassiter standing between two women at a company function. When he mentioned that to a colleague, he was told, we had to crop it. Do you know where his hands were? Disney owned Miramax during the time when much of Harvey Weinstein's alleged predations are believed to have occurred. This includes a 1997 settlement with Rose McGowan who has accused Weinstein of raping her. Disney also owned ABC News while Mark Halperin who is accused of sexual assault of some 10 different female subordinates who have claimed to be of all manner of things from sexual harassment to being forcibly kissed and touched to actually watching Halperin masturbate under his desk.
all of which occurred while he was at ABC News under Disney ownership and it has repeatedly been reported all of this behavior was an open secret at Disney. Then just days after Healy's arrest an investigative report uncovered some 35 employees have been arrested at Disney World, Florida since 2006 for sexually based offenses against children up to and including child rape offenses. Among the employees arrested, there included members of management, a concierge, a tour guide, and a ticket seller. Even a night shift manager has been accused of watching child porn at work at the Orlando-based theme park. The most recent round of arrests netted another 13 suspects including four who were employed at the sprawling Magic Kingdom. Disney is attempting to downplay this by insisting the theme park is so large with approximately 70,000 employees that the arrested predators and sexual abusers account for a mere. 0.1% of the people employed with the park since 2006. However, given the arrest of Healy and the abrupt departure of Lassiter under highly questionable circumstances, a pattern seems to be emerging against the powerful, left-wing company wherein the protection, enabling, and outright fostering of sexual abuse going on under its corporate umbrella is more the norm than Disney would like the general public to believe.